take. All right, we're here at Fulkerson Winery, and I'm here with Dave Klingman. What's your official title, Dave? What do you go by these days? Your marketing director, your I'm your vineyard director, assistant, vineyard uh, vineyard assistant, grafter, man of all trades, like official uh, jack of all trades yeah. as we have here in so many facilities. All right, and here in front of us, what what are you? What task are you undertaking now in this this uh, chilly March spring or April <laughs> spring morning? Well, what I have the joy of doing is grafting these Merlot buds that we went out and got. And we cut up the buds, and I'm going to stick it in this grafting machine that's probably over 30 years old. Chop that. It sucks up the bud into the grafting machine, and then we take some rootstock, 3309 rootstock, and we'll graft it onto the Let's get a little close up of that. So there you can see the bud is right there grafted to it. And like show if you would, like it's a puzzle piece. What well, holds yeah. it in there. Yeah, okay, so it slides in there. And then, then what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next, we're going to dip it in wax. And then we're going to plant it in these uh, big boxes. And it's going to force a callus to, to make that union stronger. And then we're going to have it growing in here in a little hot house. We'll make a little hot house and they'll still start shooting the bud. And then this rootstock will be growing this Merlot bud. And now why do you, what's the, the, to explain to listeners or viewers here who aren't aware, why do we bother with this? Why not well, just throw the darn thing in the ground? We do some plants where we'll take cuttings, just like a rootstock, of a certain variety and just plant in the ground, but certain vinifers like Merlot, Cap Sauv, and uh, Cap Franc and those are not strong enough. The root system isn't uh, as good as the 3309. So the 3309 rootstock is a lot stronger, more disease resistant, and that, that makes that variety grow much better around in this area. And it's less likely to die from some kind of what microorganism in the earth, right? Yeah. Yep. Got it. And so how many how many in total are you, you two fellas going to do today, do you expect? Well, over a thousand. Over a thousand. Yeah. How many are you going to do for the whole year? Um, well, one year we did close to 70,000. That was a big year. And then last year we grafted, well, like this year, we're going to graft uh, probably 10, 12,000. Then we're going to have another 10, 15,000 cuttings. And it's going to be all Merlot or a mixture? No, it's going to be a mixture. Okay, what are some of the other, what are some of the other grapes you're going to be grafting? <laughs> Cab Sauv. Yep. We're doing, we're going to do a lot of Cuga. We're doing a lot for a replacement in our, uh, our vineyards. We're doing some Fos, Gewurz Demeanor, Traminet, uh, Dornfelder, Pinot. It's a little bit of everything. Yep. All right, you got any parting right. thoughts or we got this covered? I think we got it covered. We're covered. You like it. Yeah, perfect. Thank you very much for your time. Hey, you're welcome.